Hello everybody, this is JTM Alley 9681. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done any testimonies or Bible studies. So I'm going to go ahead and give a testimony that is a dedication to Elohim. A dedication to God, to our Father, Abba Yahuwah. And it's Hanukkah. Now, I am not a Jew, so that's why I do not celebrate it. What I'm going to do here is give a little testimony with some scripture of what Hanukkah is basically about. I'm not going to go in great detail or have a lot of scripture or anything like that. So Hanukkah, which means dedication, is a festival of light. Now this celebration dates back in history to a time when the Jewish people fought for their freedom and beliefs against the Greeks. And somewhere around 168 to 165 BC, somewhere around there, because remember BC, the times went back, the dates went backwards. The Syrian tyrant Atinacus Epiphanes sent his soldiers to Jerusalem to desecrate the temple and take the Jews captive. Hanukkah is a historical celebration among the Jews. Now, it is the festival that commemorates the purification and rededication of the temple following defilement caused by the Greeks during their occupation of that holy place. It reminds Jews to rededicate themselves to stand against forces that would destroy Judaism and to keep alive the flame of Jewish religion, culture, and peoplehood so that it may be passed on to the next generation. Now, although Hanukkah had become an important holiday among North American Jews by the 1920s, it would be incorrect to regard it as an imitation of Christmas with an emphasis on the exchange of presents. Rather, North American Jews use this holiday as a celebration of family reinforcing Jewish identity in a place whose population may be overwhelmingly Christian but in which Jews feel at home. So Hanukkah therefore is a means for North American Jews to keep a kinship with their neighbors while simultaneously asserting their Jewish distinctiveness. Now, if we go to the book of John in chapter 10 and look at verse 22, this is where all the Jews were in the temple and Yahshua had come in and speaking to them once again. And this is where the Jews wanted to stone him and told him that he was being blasphemous, that he was only a man, but trying to make himself, trying to claim himself as Yahuwah. Well, of course, Yahshua was not declaring that he was indeed their father in the flesh. No, no, no. People get that confused. Yahshua was not the father. He was not his own father. He was declaring that he is one with the father, that his, that his father gives him the same power his father has, which would make him equal. So therefore, he is also Elohim along with his father. And I don't think the Jews really understood that. Although there may have been some that did understood that, but still thought it was blasphemous. And then he, uh, Yahshua spoke to them more and declared once again that him and his father were one. And they wanted to stone him again and he escaped. This was during Hanukkah. Because as it says in chapter, in, in the book of John, in chapter 10, verse 22, and it was at Jerusalem, the feast of of the dedication and it was winter see that's why it's a proven fact that Hanukkah should always be done in winter if you notice in the Jewish calendars it's never in the same so with Christmas being always the same on the 24th and the 25th you know Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day it's like this year in 2015 Hanukkah is always different because of the Jewish calendars which came out long before the calendars that we go by. This year, 
for according to our calendar, December 6th through the 14th. But in 2016, it's going to be from December 24th through January 1st. There are Christians who like to use an excuse of Hanukkah is not even in the Bible. Where did Jews get Hanukkah from? Well, like I've shown in, in John chapter 10 and verse 22, Hanukkah, which has absolutely nothing to do with Christmas itself, is in there. And it was always in the winter is where it's held. So, I won't have the scripture up on screen here, but at your leisure, if you turn to the book of Daniel in chapter 8, it talks about how Daniel had a vision that was a prophecy of the temple and Hanukkah. In verse 21, it mentions that the Greeks would be the ones who will defile the temple and the Jews and take over. And in verse 25, it prophesied that God would be in control and the Jews would not regain the temple by their own hands, which means, you know, they do fight, but it's not by what they chose to do to take back the temple. God was in control. Yahweh was in control of the whole thing. And he allowed the Jews' dedication to be so glorious for him. Now, I'm not saying that people shouldn't celebrate Christmas. Personally, I do not for the simple fact that Christmas is nowhere in the scriptures, period. Now, there are people who say that there are other things that are not in the Bible. Like, I've, I have shown in the scriptures where it talks about the pre-tribulation rapture, it does not say pre-tribulation rapture or rapture at all. But if you know how to understand the context of the scriptures, you'll come to understand it's talking about it. Just as Yahshua, Jesus, is one with his Father and the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, with Abba, our Father in heaven. That makes him God. That makes the Holy Spirit God makes the Father God. Not one as three, but three as one. That started not just in John chapter one, but in Genesis chapter one. Yes, in Genesis chapter one, verse 26 through, through um, 27. I'm not gonna read the whole scripture here, but I'm just gonna kind of paraphrase it. Where God is saying, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. Now, that is obviously the Father. Who is the Father talking to? He can't be talking to his angels because angels didn't create anything. Who is the other person that the scriptures talk about that have, made, that have been known as the creator? Not only the Father, but Yahshua, Jesus. So, in verse 27, so God created man in his own image. Now, a lot of people confuse that. And do not preach anything on that correctly. That's why it becomes such a controversy. Now, here's the thing. With my personal dedications to the Lord, with my studies that I do and research that I, that I do, because I want to know the truth, I want to know God's ways by the comprehension that God has given me personally. Because he gives every one of us a different comprehension level. There's always something different about every one of our comprehension levels. I have been shown that Christmas has absolutely nothing to do with Yahshua. Not the Christmas tree, not the presents, not mistletoe, not caroling. Now, if you're singing some of them, that some of the songs that are biblically based and you're singing them for the Lord, that's, that's one thing, that's fine. I don't have any problem with that. But caroling about Santa Claus and this and that and everything else, Absolutely not. That is all paganism. That's why I don't celebrate Christmas. Here's what I do. What I'm going to start doing is making is making my own cards, but they're not Christmas cards. They will all have a menorah on them for what the menorah stands for and what Hanukkah stands for. Not that I'm celebrating Hanukkah, but for everyone to understand 
hopefully that they would understand that we should always have a dedication to our Lord and Savior all the time. Not just in this season, but all the time. And that I would pray that everyone will continue to keep their good dedication. I mean, that's what it all stands for. Christmas, on the other hand, doesn't stand for anything that has to do with Jesus. Because upon my studies that I have done, the research that I've gone through, come to understand he was not born in the winter. He was born in the fall during the Feast of Tabernacles. Tishri 15. According to our calendars, that would take place in either September or October, depending on the year. Because the Jewish calendars are different than ours. They have more months, but less days. That's why Hanukkah, Passover, Feast of Tabernacles, Feast of Trumpets, all of those are not the same, are not on the same days within the exact same week and everything on the calendars that we go by. They're always different. There are a lot of paganism stuff that people use as a way that, as a way to say that God put it in the Bible. Well, I do celebrate Thanksgiving because celebrate because Thanksgiving was celebrated as a devotional custom that the pilgrimage did from their crops. That everything went out went so well for what they had all those years, and then when they celebrated at that first time with with the local native tribes. And because of that, Abraham Lincoln was the one that established it as a national holiday, but not as something that God had established because he knew God did not establish it. He wanted it to be done as something that people can remember to always be thankful to God for what they have in their lives, no matter how big or small it is, even though we should always be thankful every day, all the time. Or otherwise you would not have what you have. Abraham Lincoln knew that. So that's why I celebrate Thanksgiving. But I also give thanks to God every day, all the time. The same as I do during Thanksgiving. It's no different. And when it comes to giving presents, I rarely give presents. I give a present to who God puts on my heart to give them something. And I at least give everyone that I can a card. Usually they're Christmas cards because I have not had the mo- the motive to make my own cards the way I want them because you can never find cards like that anywhere that I want to make to give people. So for now on, I am going to start making my own. But that's going to be it for this testimony, folks. Yeah, some people believe that testimonies should be very short. But no, testimonies can be as short or as long as you want them to be. So with that, I hope everyone has a good season. For whatever it is that you choose to celebrate or whatever it is you do, like, that you do during this time of year. Until next time, this is JTML 9681, and I bear this testimony in the name of thy son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen.